we should be live. Ah, there we go. Let's see. Test. Okay, I just wish I could get the noise away, but it's it should be fine. You know, we can play some music if it's too... If it just sucks. All right. Welcome, everyone, to another live stream. I believe the first of 2022. I still, to this day, forget it's 2022 and think it's 2021. And it just confuses me so much. But let's get all of the sadness out of the way now that we start a new year. So, today is pretty special. We have a guest. The guest has not yet arrived. No problem though. I told him he can jump in at any time. So, he will jump in whenever. We, however, can already start the, start the stream. Alright. I just hope no one hears me gulping the whole day. Because sometimes when I edit, I have to, like, unedit the gulping I do. Because I can't swallow like a normal person. Ah. So what shall we do while we wait? Ah, there's already a lot of viewers. Welcome, everyone. Ah. It's been a long time since the last stream. So I think on the table, we can maybe put some programming. I haven't coded in Python in an incredibly long time. However, I do have a dating website or a dating app I'm building in NIM, which I also kind of want to do. If my PC was more powerful, I would have liked to maybe code my Android app I'm working on uh, for the Monica After Story game that everyone wants to play. And that you can like install mods and stuff, because I'm trying to make an app where you can like just click a button and it will install all of the mods and stuff for you. But yeah. And my piece isn't powerful enough to stream and do that. Alright, so do I have a web browser open somewhere? Yes, I do. Let's see, is anyone sending me anything? Right. Our buddy is having a little bit of signing up issues, but as a thing with Discord, because it's just difficult getting into Discord. I hate it when logging in and stuff. It's disgusting. Same with Steam. Just I I don't like it at all. I also got a slightly less loud keyboard, which is very nice. Although I still tap on it like it's a nuke or something. You just hear clack, 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 clack. All right. So, while we wait, no, no one is chatting. There's like three people here, but no one is chatting. That breaks my heart. Well, at least one of those three people is like my stream that's showing me if the stream works, like on YouTube side. And the other one is my phone that is for me just checking to make sure the stream is still on. Because then there's only one person watching. But that person still isn't chatting. Breaks my heart. I'm lonely at this, mo at this moment. Ah, okay, now while we wait, we can look at GitHub then. So let's see, anything here we can look at? Polymorph fast. Uh, no, thanks. Ah, let's see, what did he send? Ah, he's having a little bit of trouble. 
However, it's no problem, it's not, it's not whatever, much of a rush, I did save this time up. Oh, while we're at it, so as everyone know, I got monetized, thank you YouTube, so now I'm not working for free anymore, that's very nice. And we now have super chats, it would be very nice if someone can be my first, take my super chat virginity, that would be very great. However, no pressure. Anyhow. Off to a new topic. Oh yeah, so I am currently working on my a, a dating website, which I think is pretty cool. And it's in Nim. Oh gosh, what's happening? What's happening here? What? Maybe I should refresh. Oh gosh. Okay, let's try a new tab. That's weird. Thank it is. I thought someone turned off the Wi-Fi. Whew, for a second there. Bro. Whoa, what's with all this CPU being used? Jeez, Vivaldi, I hope that's not you. Oh, gosh. Is it just me or is the Wi-Fi really slow right now? Why? Why now? It was fast the whole day. I should actually open up Vivaldi, Vivaldi in private mode. I don't think opening it up in not private mode is very safe in case my uh, search history shows up. Like, like, what's this? What's this? The whole day it's above 20. Right now it's going below 10. What's this nonsense? No, that is not very nice of you. That is not very nice of you. Damn, that's a very mean move of you to do. I swear, my ISP is literally watching me stream, and they're like, "Ha! Ah, wouldn't this? Wouldn't it be pretty funny if we turned off his Wi-Fi?" Well, screw you too. So let's see here. Uh, can we? Can you now visit GitHub, or is still going to be incredibly slow? Okay, there we go. Uh, your repositories. There we go. The date me website. So I think it's pretty cool. It is very minimal. Currently, it is just basically basic HTML with a little bit of bootstrap in it. I was actually thinking of switching out, like one I'm using now, which is, uh, what, what am I using now with it? I keep forgetting the name. I want to say procrastination, but I want to use Carax because it's almost like React, if anyone knows React. But uh, yeah, num allographer and prolog, that's the one. Not procrastination, prolog. Yeah, th it's, a, it's a nice web framework. It just feels a little bit limiting. Like it's still under some development, which it probably is. But yeah. So I, I kind of thinking of switching it out with, was it Carax? Yes, Carax. I'm kind of thinking of switching it out with that so I can have a more react feel to it whilst still using them ah okay so there's going to be another short wait uh, it seems like he has some difficulties coming up that means we can just spend some time together no problem hello and welcome to the stream All right, so while we wait for him, we can, or let me actually introduce him a little bit, that we know who we are talking about. So I would search up his name, but I keep forgetting how to spell it. So I'm just gonna go through my whole subscription there, there we go. So he is basically sort of like a, a Linux programming YouTuber. Ah, stupid freaking ISP, why you gotta do this to me now? Anyhow, and he basically made videos about Linux and things he wish he knew before programming. It's actually pretty cool. It reminds me a lot of like Titus Tech Tips. I, I, I freaking love his videos and he is like his version. Nah, my stream is going incredibly slow. 
Jeez, I really hope they stop doing that. Oh my gosh, watch with all the spammers. Thank goodness I have a spam stopping bot. You know, I was actually thinking, maybe I shouldn't add a bot to check the spam. But you know, now that I've done this, I'm actually pretty happy I did. Because just look at all this spam. Like, bruh, could you people not? Let's see here. Can I? I can report. That's very nice. Let's see here. And, you know, I was also, like, thinking I should maybe not add the whole block emojis thing. Because that's not very nice. But now I'm quite happy I did. Because after seeing this, like, I'm happy I put up the precautions. Cool. All right. So, uh, where were we? Oh, yeah. And he makes pretty cool videos. I freaking love his videos. And yeah, I, I kind of predict he will have more subscribers than me by the end of the year. We'll see if that prediction comes true. But yeah, so let's see here. Uh, what next? Oh yeah, we can start like a little. I swear it's fast the whole day. The whole day it is fast. But the second I start streaming, it decides it doesn't want to be fast. Is there times like this where I just wish I could understand what these people are thinking? Hello, welcome to the stream. How are you? Yeah, nothing seems like it should be taking up all of the, can all of the Wi-Fi. Damn, why is the Wi-Fi slow now? Of all times, you know, it has the whole month to be slow, and it's fast the whole month. But comes my stream, it decides to be slow. That's not nice at all. Okay, let's go back here. Uh, so yeah, let me go through the dating website. I think that one would be pretty cool. So let's go to me so let's see here all right so as you can see it's basically fully built in nim where here we have like the main nim which hey i'm so i'm yeah i can't speak I'm so glad you enjoyed that video. I really love making the tutorials and stuff, especially that Lua one. I'm actually planning on maybe going deeper into Lua and making more tutorials on uh, like libraries and stuff you can use. So if you want to do some like working with JSON or working with SQL, then we can jump into some libraries that's made in Lua to do that for us. So that's pretty cool. But I'm really glad you enjoyed the Lua tutorial. But yeah, so as most of you can see, it looks pretty similar to Python. It's really simple to read. Well, well, not this page. This one is a bit difficult. But for example, here we have our root page. Now, currently, I couldn't find a good way to manage all of the... What do you call it? Of the, like the HTML. Like, I could probably have just brought in an HTML page of like template code. But I didn't know how that would work. That's kind of why I wanted to switch over to the one that's more like React. Because that might have been better. But right now, it's just saved all in like a type of stringish format. I would run it. But currently, one of the libraries I'm using has a bug in it, which prevents me from running it. Uh, one of the sad parts of uh, some of the libraries in them. They're just not ready yet. But yeah, so this is very cool. For example, this right here would be the index page. Then if they need to log in, they can go to like the login page. And here we actually like do it a bit better where we generate the content. Where do we generate the content? Ah, here. So now it's like, it's only a little HTML page. And then later on we add to this HTML page or usually we would. 
Uh, I don't know if I have an example where I do. No, I do not. I'm pretty sure I did somewhere have an example like that. But anyhow, then you add to that piece of string and that builds the entire website. It's pretty cool. I just wish I could run it, but no, no. The, everything that we use has to be broken. Let's put on some music while we wait. So let's see, I do have a background music player. So let's just start that up. And no, I don't want to add a, I don't want to do that. I want to play a playlist. Stream music, we can shuffle it, we can loop it. Oh, that's loud, that is very loud. Alright, so is that loud on stream or is that not? Oof, and the stream is very far behind. That absolutely sucks. Okay, it's not that loud. That, that, that should be fine. I don't think that will really mess with anything. Alright. So now we have a little bit of background music to go with everything we're doing. Alright, uh, we can probably like move this away then since we now won't use it. Like, let's see, we can move it to maybe page 4 and then on page 4 we can move it to page 6, okay. So while we wait we can actually play Arma Get, Arma Get Train Ad. You know, we can train because we actually plan on playing this game at some point. So let's see. Let's play the game. For now we can go local. I don't think we need multiplayer. It's a pretty neat game. Hey, there's not much to do. You just basically try and trap the enemy. In your thing that it gets drawn. Oh gosh, don't do that. So the mouse does things. Don't use the mouse. But yeah, so you try and trap the enemy within your blue or white or whatever colored stuff. And then if you trap them, you win. You can then also slide against these walls if you're fast enough, unlike me. And then you can kind of just... Oh gosh, what happens? And it can become faster. Ah, damn. I wonder, can, is that only possible on multiplayer mode? Because I've never been able to do that. On single player. Hmm. Well, no, it is possible there. I'm doing it. Very, very weird. I may might want to make a game like this. I would like to make like a 3D game as simple as this one. It could be a fun project to do. I'm having to trap him in his own creation. I think he already has. Ah, seems like he'll be joining the stream any minute now. That would be great. I've not yet get gotten a friend request on Discord, but it should be soon. Ah, I win. Haha, <laughs> the AI lost. Man, yeah, maybe we can even like try out Love 3D. I think there's a Love 2D and a Love 3D. So we, I can even maybe try and make a Love 3D course. That could be kind of cool. And then we can try and build this in that. That would be really cool, actually. I think this game is open source. It's in the repo, so it should be open source. So I could probably just grab the, the resources and like make it my own. I swear. Ah, so close. It's just too fast. Let me also just move forward. Just go to maybe a screen. Wait, what happened now? Okay. It's because my cursor went to a different screen. I okay. guess. Still didn't. Whoa, is the stream really that laggy? Like, what, f what FPS is this? 
Bruh, it's a stream. Let me lag. Like, let me do. Bruh. Bruh. I don't know if I can actually change that. Uh, not while it's streaming, at least. But yeah, I'm probably like recording at 15 frames per second because that's my bad habit. I still haven't learned my lesson with that. Just can't go to 30 FPS. Ha! I won. Alright, so let's see, how is he doing? Is he coming along? So you might be joining any second now. I haven't gotten a friend request yet. He's probably still struggling getting in. an image let's see what the image says ah, okay so the request was sent uh, did I receive a request I did receive a request it's impending okay uh, it didn't work double check make sure the calculation is playing uh, well, okay maybe it's because I said twice There we go. I should probably stop my music because we're probably going to be playing now. Uh, where is my music? Is that on five? Four? Three? I think it's on. It should be on six. Yes, okay, there we go. I just got that. Oh gosh, that's a bug. I should fix that. Alright. He's typing. So we're getting somewhere. Finally. Also, there's a person I need to say I'm sorry to. I don't remember what her username was, but uh, maybe I can look in my chat history what it was. Um, let's see. Let's see. I assume not. It was in a different chat. I have no idea. I have so many chats. Maybe it was deleted. Who knows? Anyhow, so I can't remember what her name was, but I accidentally, or not accidentally, I, I meant to do it. Who is constantly spamming? I'm going to ban them, seriously. Why is, why? Can you people stop? All right, anyhow. Behind. No, stop. Stop with the spamming. I swear. Uh, I should probably not go check out if that website actually exists here. <laughs> uh, they want to get demonetized. I swear I'm going to ban you all. Yes, 
Now I'm making my own dating website. Don't don't share your dating websites. I'm making my own. Be gone. Be gone. Jeevers. I swear. I swear. Uh, we're, I just ha heard the message sound. Oh, was he calling me? Sorry. I was... Uh, my bad. He's up. I wonder if we can hear him. Good. Uh, do you not hear me? Ah, oh, crap. Now my... No! Stop! Alright, so... Hmm. That's weird. Uh, it might be something because of my... Let's see. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? All right, so it was just the wrong microphone. Awesome, welcome to the stream. Woo. Thank you. I'm hearing some, I'm hearing some very weird noises from your side. Maybe try it again because last time I selected the wrong microphone. That was weird. Uh, why am I? Why are you gonna have to be slow now? You're fast yeah, okay. every day. All right, so yeah, I can hear you. It's much better. Awesome. So, are you streaming on your side as well, or, or? Oh, so, are you streaming on your side as well, or am I the only one streaming? Ah, so you're gonna stream as well. That's great. Nice. You could check out your channel while we do that. And while it, when you stream, it can be in it. I've actually never done this before. You never streamed? Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Went, like, watch the tutorial on how to do so. <laughs> Oof. Well, at least it's not too difficult. Um, yeah, you just go into your where you like upload your video, and there's a streaming option. There's like a little code you have to copy and paste into uh, OBS. I wonder if they can hear you on the stream. Like right now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I apologize for keeping you up. <laughs> no, 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 no problem. Uh, so do I go to YouTube or YouTube Studio? You go to YouTube Studio. Okay. You can maybe just bump up how loud you are. Okay, now we should be able to hear you on stream as well. Uh, oh, okay. But yeah, are you currently on my stream? Because I can actually show you. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm on the studio now. Wait, okay, I see go live. 
Yes, you click on go live. Okay. In 24 hours. It takes 24 hours to activate your account for live streaming. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> okay, it's fine then. Yeah, it's not a problem. We yeah. can just chat and game and whatnot. Okay. Let me check out this game actually. And I'm gonna get to net. Yeah. The controls at the start is kind of confusing though. I just recommend tweaking it to your liking. Okay. First language, American English, second first language. So thank you. Okay, so this is multiplayer, right? Yes it is. Let me actually open up on my stream as well. Let's, let's see. It's yeah. actually interesting because I've had a game, I think, similar to what this is going to be on my PSP called Tron because I recognize the vehicles that's uh, in the game. I think it is actually the same game, but it was made open source and like by fans or oh. something. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Or at least that's what I think. I'm not, I'm not really 100% sure, but I do know there's like an original other movie or game made of this. Yeah. Yeah, I watched the movie, but I played the game first. And then I just watched the movie because I played the game. And I enjoyed the game. Ah, I see. Yeah. Okay, so play game, player setup, system setup. Okay. System setup is where the controls are, right? Uh, I have, yes, that would be, I think so, yeah. Let me actually go check. Uh, yeah, player setup. And then you click on player one, and then you go to input configuration. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yes, uh, it up. Player one settings name. Do they like access your system information or something? Because my name was already here. Yeah, I have no idea so... because mine was also there, which is kind of weird. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. It's the first time I experienced this. Uh, players per team. Yeah, I think they did the same in uh, DDLC or Doki Doki Literature Club where they automatically got like your system username and like at the end, the player called you by your PC username, which it was supposed to be very scary. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that is actually. Yeah, especially if you like have your actual name as your PC username. So then, <laughs> then it's like they call you by a real name, which can be very freaky, especially if you don't know a lot about yeah. computers. Yeah, definitely. Um... Goodness, I went out the full screen and now the thing is stuck here. I'm just trying to adjust it here by screen mode. Full screen on desktop resolution. Okay, okay, there we go. How is your window oh. manager so far? so far? Because you use R um awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been treating me good so far. I haven't had any problems. It's just still the brightness thing that I still need to set up, that I need to work on. But I haven't been actively trying to um, work on it recently. I see. Yeah. But other than that, everything is amazing, honestly. Like um, when all of my applications are closed and like I... I kill some apps or terminate some apps on HTOP, then it uses like 350 megabytes of RAM. So that's amazing, honestly. Yeah, I think it's about the same on mine as well. I just love yeah. Windows managers. They're so lightweight. Yeah, me too. Even the, like the keyboard shortcuts, I'm starting to get used to it now. I don't even really use Cinnamon anymore. Yeah, and, and later on when you like get super used to using a window manager and you try using like a desktop environment again, you get so confused. <laughs> I can imagine. I haven't spent that much time in a desktop environment yet since I started using this. Yeah, 
That, that's quite nice. Well, I remember my first time when I tried to um, use awesome, it was just very confusing. So it's nice to see that you were yeah. able to get a hang of it so quickly. Yeah, the, the Strotube's videos and I think Chris Titus Tech as well really helped me figure it out. Because at first I didn't really use it that much because <laughs> was I echoing now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just realized that I was playing with the knobs now the whole time. <laughs> and I realized that it was actually affecting my sound. So <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I was thinking um, that was incredibly yeah. weird. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I wasn't actually using it for the first few months or so that I got it because I I didn't I wasn't configuring it or anything like that and I couldn't. Oh, the biggest thing that bothered me was that it was in light mode, like the system um, theme, whatever, and I didn't know how to change it. And then eventually I found out that I had to download Alex Appearance or something like that, and I changed it there. But before that, it really used to bother me, and I didn't use it because of that. I see. Yeah. Okay, I got this done now. So, how are we going to connect? I use as a play game, multiplayer, online multiplayer, and it will load up a bunch of servers. If we choose the same server, then oh. we will be in the same yeah. game. Oh, internet multiplayer. Uh, okay. Uh, it's so sad. There used to be so many active servers now they're mostly dead oh okay i see them now all right so um, do you see any servers that you like there's one server with three people in it three and people. then the rest is oh okay server. i see the users now okay yeah the uh, classic submarine yes want to do that one yeah we can do that one. let's see Right, so let's just skip the rules. Then I don't want to read that. Oh, oh okay, okay. Ah, where's my controls? Where are my controls? Why can't I turn? Oh wait, I'm not in game yet. Oh. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm in the game because I'm not moving. Or no. I am moving, but weirdly. Yeah, like no, I, I don't think we're in the game yet. Oh, okay. I'm looking. I was wondering because I'm th this one guy was just like trying to move in, but my key bindings wasn't working, so I was. Wait, about. what are the key bindings? I wasn't even looking at that. Uh, yeah, I think by least. default they're the arrow keys, but I'm not sure. Oh. I changed mine to the WASD keys. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, it's fine. Uh, let's see, I think there's also a chat key binding, although I have no idea how to use it. Oh, what did I just do? Uh, let's see. Okay, so how do we know once we've entered the game? Uh, yeah, once the game, once they lose the game, they will um, actually show oh, us. Okay. Uh, how does one chat? I know there's like a key binding to go into chat, but I have no idea what that key binding is. Ah, let's see. Okay, now we're going to go into the game. Okay. Wait, so the, the point of this is to like... um. Get the other player to like smash into your line that you leave behind, right? Something like that. Yeah. Oh, Either your okay, line or their line. And you okay, just have the... to be the last one standing. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, this is weird. Oh gosh, I almost lost. <laughs> yeah, and if you like scrape up against their um, their uh, walls, then you become faster. Why is this thing typing something in the chat? Goodness. I haven't played this game in so long. Oh gosh. Yeah, I think I died. <laughs> oh gosh, this guy's a pro. <laughs> I won. Oh, just like that. Yeah, I forgot there aren't that many people in here. Yeah, I was actually thinking I was going to lose because he actually got through my uh, walled defense. <laughs> to look at the controls I have no idea how to bring up the chat so I can't chat back uh, what? I think I just drove into my own wall 
Yeah, it was uh, Flames, whoever he is. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, yeah. He got me too. Did he? Oh, okay. Flames. How does one chat? I know there's a way. Uh, I was in it. I think I'm in it right now. How did you enter it? <laughs> I honestly don't know. Is Let me actually check. Player setup. Or not player setup. No, it's just player the message. Oh, press the S to speak. Oh, is it S? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I changed my key binding so I can't speak because S is slow down. <laughs> oh. Uh, and I just... What? <laughs> so you can get change your key bindings if it's a bit confusing. Yeah. How do I, do I like have to exit or escape or something? Yeah, you press escape and then there's like a player um, setup option. Oh, okay. I'm player one, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, uh, you will be player one. Input configuration. That as well. So, turn left is Z. Z? <laughs> Z is weird. Really <laughs> great. Ah, I won. Uh, okay, I think I won. Alright, so let's see. Turn right. Okay, so it's, it's, okay. Oh. Oh gosh. Woo! I actually got through that. Damn it! I was so close. Let's see if I can change my key binding okay. so I can chat. Uh, input configuration. Uh, chat. Oh, so it's just enter. Okay, I can also do that then. Hello. Okay, this is so much better. There you are. The nice part about the online game is you have like a second before you die, so you can change your direction. But you can help you survive. Oh, oh gosh. Dude, you just won. <laughs> or won against me at least. Did I? What do you mean? I, uh, I uh, like drove against your wall, and then you turned before I could figure oh. out to turn. <laughs> <laughs> so... Is it just me and this other guy? Oh my goodness. Dude. <laughs> it's honestly heartbreaking. Oh, also, if you're like in chat mode, the, the car will like drive itself. Oh, okay. Honestly, I don't want to run into this electro guy. <laughs> actually, this there's guy. a guy that's like right behind you. I think he's trying to. Oh gosh, this electro guy's actually behind me. <laughs> oh, crap, he's gonna know. Good luck. <laughs> Oh crap, this guy's coming for me. Damn it. Ah, so close. Something similar happened to me, but then I just drove into my own wall. Oh. Yeah, I'd... Uh. Damn. So how's the game so far? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not bad. I feel like if we had even more people now that we knew, it would have been so much better. Yeah, I can just imagine the glory days when there were like 15 people per game. Oh. 
did like you and your friends play back then? Nah, it wasn't that far back actually. It was about two years ago when I first found the oh. game. There was like this one group that were like everyone in one game. Oh, I see. But dude, that was incredibly fun. Yeah, I can imagine. Dude, you're still in the game. Good job. I yeah. thought you died. I, oh my... Ah. Dude, so close. <laughs> I swear, this is like the third time this Electro guy killed me. I just need to beat him once. Just ah. once. Oh, he died. Oh, you won. <laughs> yeah, luckily you kind of boxed him in for me, so you set up the whole thing. <laughs> Oh, did I? Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, there's a new guy now. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not going to go against you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was, that was honestly un uncalled for. <laughs> Dude, this guy just drove through my wall and survived. You pick up like a lot of speed if you like drive against other people's walls. So you should, uh, you should try and do that. Oh, I see now. This retro player guy. You go to chat now again? Yeah, I just press enter. I must have changed it just now. I think you press S or something, unless you change that key binding. To go yeah, slow. Uh, I think I changed it to break. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was too close. Whew. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you almost got me there, bro. <laughs> I, w I honestly thought I was gonna like... Oh. I didn't know there was enough space there. I mean, to ride. It, you basically can at any point like get through any situation. As long as you're willing to like drive against the wall. Because you have like the smallest chance of not pressing go to the side. And then you die. Oh, but if you press it at the right moment, you drive against the wall. Oh. Yeah, like this electro guy right now, before he died. Hmm. Retro player. This guy just joined like, a couple of months ago, if I'm right. The retro one. I think he was here from the... Was he? Yeah, I think he was from the first game here. Oh, I just remember him and Flynn. Oh, gosh, no. Oh. oh, dude, you saved me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it wasn't vain yeah, because I died. I need to at least take someone out. <laughs> Honestly, my only goal right now. And find out how to in chat. I think there is also another. And you can use let's see yeah chat is enter or return for me at least so i don't know i think enter and return is actually the same is it not yeah uh escape you know what we should actually do next time we should do that um a css battles have you ever seen it before no what's that it's like this game basically where you have a bunch i think it's like 15 css challenges and they give you this picture and you basically have to try and recreate it in css ah, i see i've seen youtubers do it like kevin powell and 
name. We've been simplified. Oh, and then okay. basically, the first one to finish all the most challenges in the are. Oh, oh my goodness, Flynn. Ooh. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> anyways, the first one to finish like the most challenges, the one that wins basically. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh crap! I just screwed myself in. Hmm. But then it's like you do the CSS. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's usually just like these weird shapes and stuff that you have to recreate. <clears throat> That's weird. That that could be interesting. Yeah. I, I, it's similar to CodePen, like the user interface. So it's actually nice. You And the thing auto saves, I guess, refreshes once you make a change. Hmm. We can try that. Yeah. Yes, I'm ready to do that at any point when you're ready. Yeah, we can do it whenever. Like, whenever we're going to do this again. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Everyone's just, like, after you. <laughs> I'm going to try and kill... Oh, my goodness. Oof, this car almost got me. Oh, damn, dude. <sighs> Wait, why is Richard really? player the winner? Oh, I think we ran out of time. Oh, did we? Didn't the game just stop? Yeah, I think uh, we have like a time limit or something. Oh, for the server? Yeah, and then we start oh, back awesome. at round one. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't even notice the rounds. Oh, gosh. Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Just leave me. Just leave me be. Just leave me be. Damn it. This, this game is malfunctioning. I was <laughs> in front of this guy, and then I turned, and he killed me. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the that's the most annoying part because of your Wi-Fi or their Wi-Fi is slow. The, you see, like that uh, that square box around people, or that almost yeah. square box. That's like their lagging distance. They can be anywhere within that, you know, depending on their Wi-Fi. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. That's why I get, get so sad when they like drive through my wall because I think they're going to go against it, but then they're actually already past it. Yeah. What's your FPS right now? It's 60. How about yours? 59. Okay, so it's somewhat similar at least. Yeah. But it like drops down to 33 sometimes, or around 30. Yeah, especially like when it loads and it's like here 31 and stuff. Yeah. Honestly, I'm just gonna try and outlast everybody. Oh gosh, this guy got me. <laughs> <laughs> we both got, I think that's the same guy even. How did this guy even survive that? Electro guy. And some of these people like stay on here for like days, I can just assume, because I remember with that match I did a few years ago, like some of the guys on there were so good at this game. Like, you couldn't defeat them, even if you tried. Yeah. Like, oh my goodness. Like, even these guys wouldn't compare. But geez, some of these pro people just probably play the game for days on end. Yeah, that sounds like it would have honestly just been annoying. Constantly dying. Hello everyone, welcome to the chat. Oh, they're people. Yeah, they're peeps. Oh. Dude, hyperactive, you're finally back. Oh no, this isn't a snake game, this is more of a, like a car game. So we gotta kill people with our cars. I'm a get train ad. How are you all in the chat? Also, do you want to later do that, um... Uh, what's the what's it called? What I, what we wanted to do? I constantly forget what it's called. Let's see. What? Uh, let me just find my programming folder. Oh yeah, uh, over the wire. Over the wire. Still want to do that later. Basically, where you hack their try and hack their servers with your Linux knowledge. With, the, with my Linux knowledge. Yeah, then we can do it together since we're both Linux users. Oh, I mean, we can try it. Yeah, and I like, I 
No, I like did the first 16 on my own. And the, at least the first like two were easy. And then the rest were like constant Googling and difficult. I wanted oh. to make like a whole video series on it, but then I decided against it. <laughs> Is there like a certain programming language that you need to use for it? Uh, just basically the what you use in your terminal. Oh, interesting. Yeah, basically they give you like a little task, and then, uh, oh, my character is a bit weird. Uh, they give you like a task that you have to do. Like you have to go into a folder, you have to decrypt or uh, extract a file, and then you have to get the password to the next challenge in there. Oh, I see. So then would we like have different challenges or would we be doing the same ones? Uh, we'd be doing the same ones unless we choose to do different ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can definitely try that. Sounds like it would be. How did this guy get Sounds out? Like it would be fun. Yeah, it, it can definitely be fun, especially if there's like more than one person to do it with you because then two people can destroy their brains instead of one. <laughs> Yeah, I can already see it happening. Like, yeah, there's like some commands it. that you have to like learn new. For example, do you know the SED command? Definitely not. Yeah, like I hate that command so much, but it's incredibly powerful and it's oftentimes very useful. Oh. And grip. I think that's also where I like learned how to use grip. Oh, I see. Wait, but I still don't get how you hack a uh, server. It, it's not Linux. like hacking. It's more like you try and they give you a server and then you have to like the, get the password in the file for the next server. It's almost like a way to teach you how to hack. That's almost like the goal. But you didn't actually hack it. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. It would be cool though. I was wanting to do hacking. Yeah, same. Probably learn it at some point later in my career, but just for fun. Yeah, I used to learn it, but it's it's so much theory, and I just hate theory. <laughs> I prefer just doing the programming part. The whole research thing is not for me. Research. Yeah, because you have to like a, do a ton of research when you want to hack. I have to go through like a ton of precautions and stuff, and oh, it, for me I that see. just became incredibly boring. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I mostly enjoy the programming aspect of things. Yeah. I've actually been meaning to kind of get better at JavaScript, but just like programming in general, like my logic skills, I guess, my problem solving skills. Yeah, it definitely helps getting better. And it's very difficult getting better as well. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Do you use I've... Free Code Camp? I, I've actually like barely ever used it. Like the website especially. Every now and then I watch a video from this if I couldn't find a video from somebody else that I wanted to watch. But I like... You got but, me. Yeah. <laughs> Did I get you? I think we got each other. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, I barely use it. I barely use them, I mean. But it's just like if there's something that I really can't find from either like the net ninja or someone else like ever see me then i'll probably watch one of their videos ah, i see yeah. yeah but with the website usually i always recommend the javascript course because it's really really good oh i'll check who teaches it or who's the instructor uh, no and it's basically just text there's no video unfortunately oh oh okay yeah 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 <laughs> It's not the React course, but the React course is absolute trash. <laughs> no, I think I have a solid, I've gained a solid understanding. From I also like how he uses a blog to like teach you how to use it to learn React. I, yeah, I remember there was like this one guy that made in a React tutorial that I watched. Dude, you're one of the last people. Good luck. Am I? Yeah, I think it's just you two. With who? Uh, with... I don't know, I don't see his name. Don't He's purple, though. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> God damn it, Electro. 
Dude. I don't care this guy. But yeah, this guy like had like 20 uh, projects or something that he made a tutorial of for React. And I remember following that and that really helped. Also a free code camp video. Oh. Have you heard of um what's his name? Lauren Pop. And uh, no. He he's just like a YouTuber. I also follow him on Twitter as well. But he basically like did this thing, this challenge basically where he did a hundred JavaScript projects a hundred days. Dude. Can't imagine doing something like that honestly. I wouldn't that, have the most Yeah, that's like some Rosetta code stuff there. But at least like a lot of them were smaller projects, weren't full on websites. Ah, oh, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm gonna kill myself, damn it. I remember there was some time when I started first learning to code that I did like this 60 day coding challenge when I was still learning Python. I can't even remember what I was actually coding at the time. I think. I just like I just counted the day if I did any programming it and I didn't even finish it. I used to post it on Instagram, I remember. I deleted those posts so honestly embarrassing. <laughs> no, I think it would have been a nice post to see for future. Uh, maybe. I can't even remember what it was actually. Pictures itself. I feel like it was probably screenshots of the code. But I remember like when I decided that I wasn't actually going to finish it, <laughs> I went to go change the description of everyone. Because you know, like, um, keep track of the day. So you're like, day this and day that. So then, once I got to like, past day 30 something, I deleted it up until 30. And then I went to go change everything from hashtag 60 day challenge to hashtag 30 day challenge. <laughs> make I actually finished the challenge. <laughs> Dude, just you two. Good luck. Damn it. <laughs> the 30 day challenge because you don't want to complete it. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, I, I could never do those challenges, but they, I just get too. I just get so bored so soon. And it has yeah. to be something that I really want to do. Yeah. I. I feel the same about like programming projects and stuff. I wouldn't do it if I don't feel like doing it. Yeah, because at the end of the day, if you're not really enthusiastic oh. about it, they're not going to. It's not going to benefit you a lot. Yeah. Like even with my job, they don't really give you. If you're not enthusiastic on the project you are currently working on, then they tell you to get off of it and do a different one. Oh. Wait. So what? Like features and stuff you basically work on right now uh, can you repeat that please like which features or something do you work on uh, do you mean like my, oh, uh, yeah. currently i'm uh, it, it, it depends a lot you know because i'm kind of mostly back end just implementing whatever needs to be implemented and a little bit front end so currently yeah. i'm mostly just fixing up the bugs because the previous guy who worked on the project kind of uh, messed it up oh yeah, and then we basically have to fix whatever he messed up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but mostly I just have to work with the database. Just get oh, stuff see. and send it to the front end, make sure it's correctly formatted, how you uh, handle the errors. Yeah. Can't imagine, like, that, don't you feel kind of pressured, warm well, since you're writing code for a company? Uh, well, usually what happens is you push the code to uh, GitHub or GitLab or wherever you push the code to for the company. Then yeah. they review what you have pushed and then they tell you yes or no and then you have to fix what they tell you to fix. So even if you mess up, they will calmly tell you, hey, you kind of messed up here, dude. You can you maybe fix that or rather use this implementation. Yeah, so it, you don't really feel pressure or anything on the end of the day because they're pretty nice with it. I'm nice about it. Oh, but imagine like you make <laughs> you make a bunch of mistakes though. Believe me, I've made a ton of mistakes. <laughs> like, 
I, I can't oh. think of any now, but I've made so many mistakes. It is incredible. And, you know, like I import like all of these ton packages that we can use and whatnot. And then they're like, dude, you know, there's like an inbuilt package for that. Or, you know, you can <laughs> instead use this that can cover everything you've just installed. And I'm oh. like, oh, OK, OK, I'm sorry. Now I've got to redo the whole thing. Yeah, yeah it would be nice to work with with like patient developers senior developers at that stage in your career yeah yeah my, my boss is like really one of the best bosses you can get and he's i think he's also a senior developer it's just great having him oh i think if i can get you into that job it would be pretty amazing yeah that that would be amazing does your boss also like work amongst you guys like in his separate office but in the same building or something uh, he, he if he works in buildings uh, which we can if we want to he does work in the same building and in the same office oh but yeah i don't i don't know how much he codes for i think he's mostly in meetings because he's like the head of literally every project we have and we have a ton of projects oh, okay is he the actual ceo is he uh, just like the yeah i think he's like the actual he runs literally everything oh, okay okay yeah that's Jeez, this guy's persistent. No, go away. Ah, oh, yes, fear me. I just blocked myself in. Oh. Yeah, but I would, I would say probably the biggest problem mostly with back in development, at least as a beginner, is that you overcomplicate things because you think it should be complicated but on the end of the day it can literally be solved with like one line of code or it's it just that you don't have to think that deep for example when i learned about seeding a database basically yeah. that just means you're creating the database at the like you're generating the database for future people to use like it has a default user or something like that usually i just implement that def by default and then I just uncomment and comment code as I need it. But it turns out there's yeah. actually a legitimate method for that. And I overcomplicated it so much because I thought it was something completely different. And I, my boss like had to tell me to fix it so many times. And on the end of the day, when I did it in NIM, just to try and put it inside of a project, turns out I was just overcomplicating it so much that it took me three times as long to actually implement it because I didn't quite understand what I was implementing. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, yeah, so most of the time you should just think small instead of large. Yeah. What's that random now again? Just keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> yes, exactly like that. Yeah. Because you think it's back and then everything should be complicated because now you're working with databases and storage and what not but yeah. over the day it's just as you've been working the whole time oh yeah 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 that does make sense i feel like um one thing that i i should definitely get better at now is trying to write more cleaner code in javascript like finding shorter ways to do the same thing writing certain functions and stuff like that yeah actually um i think it's a web storm or something like that the same people that created Android Studio. I think they yeah. have like this refactor feature. Don't quote me on it, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they have like this refactor feature where they will basically shorten and clean up your code for you. Oh. So if you like do ugly code, then you can just ask them to clean it up. Oh, I see. Oh, WebStorm is that IDE, right? Yeah, the one that's incredibly expensive. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wanted yeah. it for myself, but... I'm not going to pay that amount of money for an IDE that can be the same if I just used VS Code with a bunch of extensions. Yeah, yeah true. I think Tab 9 or Kite could be able to do that, I'm assuming. But but I think that's just like AI um, auto-completion, if I'm correct. Because I used to use Kite when I was younger. I, how was Kite? I wanted to actually try it out, but it seems like the Linux version is like not out or something. Oh. No, I actually had Kite on my Linux system as well. But I just deleted it because it took up too much RAM while I was developing. Like, I think it was like 300 or 400 megabytes. Not afford that. <laughs> but it was actually really good because 
it's, it does a really good job at predict, predicting what code you actually want to write. So it's actually quite accurate. Oh, I see. Because I would actually yeah. love to then try and use that. That sounds like yeah. it would be amazing. I, I want to try out tab 9 as well, though. Because that's like basically the one that came out of Kite. Kite was like the OG, I remember back then, like 2019. <laughs> but then tab 9 came out. And I haven't tried that one yet like see which one is better but i i, I kind of want to <laughs> lean more towards tab 9 because if I, I start using it now already then in the future i could potentially get them as like a sponsor on my videos because i've seen them sponsor other creators as well so that would be amazing honestly tab 9 yeah it's basically the same thing i think you get the extension for vs code as well ai autocomplete for javascript python typescript PH. Yeah. What's PH Pornhub? <laughs> Isn't it like PHP? Just cut off or something? Uh, yeah, it could be cut off now that you <laughs> I was wondering what's PH? <laughs> I actually installed that later. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it is actually. I also need to get them. Um, ES Lint and Printier. One of the two at least. Dude, Start I hate Mac ES Lint so much. Why? or at least the configuration my job uses because for example you can't oh. have single quotes or you can't have double quotes everything should be single quotes except that, like there's special cases where oh. you can use double quotes i just hate it so much you know i want to code <laughs> code my code without semicolons with double quotes you know as i want to but no <laughs> yeah to be honest i actually like um single quotes more i don't know why i just have a prefer it might just be because I'm too lazy to press shift, so that <laughs> might be the big thing. But yeah, and also semicolons. I'm I'm not a big fan. Could also be the same reason though. Yeah, because if a programming language doesn't need semicolons, then I don't see the reason to implement it. Yeah. So like, why force me to put semicolons in JavaScript if not required? Wait, um, yes, Lint, and okay, I don't know about Pretty, but when you configure it, you basically like configure it to uh to format your code using certain rules, right? Yeah, with uh, Prettier, you can make your code like look nice if it's like underneath each other and you can fix the indentation and stuff. And with ESLint, it will just basically tell you what's wrong with how your code looks in terms of design-wise. Should there be a semicolon? Should this be a double or single quote? You do have like a fix flag, which will automatically fix some of the things for you. But yeah, yeah it's not always, it doesn't always work. Like I, I use Prettier though. That's pretty nice. Mm. Yeah, I've also used it. I just I think I actually have it, but I just didn't configure it those um formatted every time I save it. Ah, I see. Yeah, because because right. your PC is probably too slow, right? And then when you save it and it formats it, then you try to run it and then it's and then it's still formatting. I don't know actually, I just didn't configure it now since I moved to Linux because I forgot you actually had to do that. I thought it just came like that out of the box. I see. Yeah, I remember yeah. with uh, with it, it's like I always said I want to format it manually because if it formats automatically, especially on my slow laptop, then you save it, it starts formatting, you run the code and you're wondering why the bug isn't fixed. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, and then it saves, and then you're like, okay, where's the bug? But then the bug was fixed. Yeah, that... I hope that's not the case. But I don't think it was when I was using Windows. That was even worse than Linux is, so... Mm. Uh, I just hope so. But I'm gonna do it soon, because I want to make a video about, like, my VS Code setup. Like, the extensions and stuff that I use. I was even watching videos today to see what other creators are using. Ah, I see. Yeah, I've always yeah. also wanted to do a video like that, but yeah, my, my content just doesn't work well with that type of content. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's again, one of those things where you have to like consider the type of content that you want to make and not the uh, content that's just going to get you views. Yeah, because it will get me views, but I don't know if I want to make more content like that. Yeah, I get what you mean. Dude, that one guy is constantly wrecking you. Holy crap. Yes. <laughs> uh, 
but yeah, I actually realized today, I don't, I think I was watching a bunch of James Q Quicks videos that I could actually put out more content if I make more, like not really tutorial type videos, I guess, but it's more like, seems like more niche videos in a way, like maybe things about VS Code and then specific things about, you know, like maybe yes, Lint, for example, I could make a video on how to figure that. And like smaller videos like that, I could do more of those within the week. And I wouldn't have to spend that much time editing because I don't know why I had like this weird obsession with becoming good at editing, but I'm honestly, I'm not feeling it anymore. And it's honestly wasting too much time. Yeah, because one person even... ever... Yeah? Yeah. One can... person, one person told me on one of my last videos, I think it was the one the JavaScript video that I made that I should edit less and like just code more. And honestly, I wasn't even offended by it. I was kind of relieved in a way because I was like, okay, so I don't actually need to do all of this because I did edit a lot in that video. I was kind of inspired by Fireship and, you know, audience retention and all that stuff. But I don't I think it's necessary. Yeah, and, and anyways, for like what we do, at least, I don't think editing is that important. Anyhow, we just basically cut and realign yeah. the video clips. Yeah, I'm going to test it out and see if it works out at least. And also, I'm getting better at like not making mistakes while like, when I'm recording videos now. So that's also way better. In the I mean, it's way more pleasant editing now. And it saves a lot of time if you make less mistakes. Yeah. Video also seems more natural now. Like you don't, you can't like notice the cuts as much. It actually looks kind of smooth. Hello Onbot, uh, where can you find the latest DDLC? Uh, the latest one would probably be on Discord. Uh, the developer will have the latest one. But if you want the latest one that I made a video of, that will be on Telegram. But yeah, I'll also make a new update on that video at some point in the future. Alright, where were we? Uh, what about editing? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry, my memory was refreshed when <laughs> I quickly answered this comment. Honestly, my brain is literally like that, uh, that meme I shared on Twitter where the guy said his name was like Jack or something and the guy tried to fit wow. it in, but he had all the very key buttons and say, hey, Jarvis. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I've always been proud of my somewhat good memory, like especially in the long term, I guess. My goodness, I'm just lagged there. Oof. Yeah, I always remember a lot of things people tend to forget. And they're always somewhat impressed by it. Why is this guy sending us a link? Did someone sent the link? Fine, you can see it. But, but yeah, my short-term memory at least absolutely sucks. <laughs> yeah, mine's not that great. Ah... Uh. Wait, so do you do this every weekend? No, only on special weekends. Oh. oh, okay. I don't remember you ever doing it since I subscribed to your channel. Yeah, I think this is the first time this year that I actually did it. Oh. And then last year, I think maybe it was like September, maybe. Oh. oh. Yeah, like, it was weekends. Was yeah. I was looking at um, a few of your older playlists when I was the other day, and I saw you had like a playlist of learning Japanese. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Did you ever finish the playlist for the tutorial series? No, I actually am. Um try to get my hands on a whiteboard because I didn't want to do things on paper because it just sucks. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like that whiteboard is coming anytime soon. So I'm actually considering buying myself a drawing tablet for it instead. 
Oh. For those types of tutorials, because I also want to start doing math tutorials. Oh, I see. And you say you suck at maths. <laughs> I absolutely do. That's why I want to start making the tutorials because I okay, I sucked at Delphi, started making the tutorials, and passed grade twelve of like eighty percent. Oh. You. <laughs> yeah, you code in. <laughs> you code in Delphi. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my school did Alfie. Because my old teacher also said that she is programmed in Delphi and she was a super cat at some point. Because I I actually like thought back then that I, like, she could maybe to me or something like that. And then I heard she code in Delphi, you know. <laughs> I've never even heard of that before. Yeah, no, I, I actually don't like Delphi at all. It's It's really old and it just kind of sucks. Like, if you've ever coded in Pascal, and you didn't like Pascal, then you will also not like Delphi. Like, it's slightly better, but still, it's not great. No, I haven't used that either. But I... I think some window manager did it, in a, if I'm correct. It's like one of the older ones, like E-Menu or Xmonad. I mean, not E-Menu, um... This is the, no. Yeah, I think the menu oh. is a window manager. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a cool. Okay, I can't remember now exactly. D -W -D -W -M, I think. Oh yeah, DWM. That's a window manager, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not exactly sure which one. I remember. I just remember the, the names, like the programming languages from the Strodecubes video, and like the top 10 best window managers or something. I see. Oh yeah, I also watched that one. That's when I tried to figure out what one new manager I wanted to try and use. Yeah, me too. That's where I um, decided on awesome window manager. I think it was just showed me those, like the difference that people made from that subreddit Linux porn, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the thing that probably kept me most from that awesome window manager was the fact that out of the box it didn't look great. <laughs> Oh, it yeah. just looks so ugly and you have to actually configure yeah, it. it. It honestly looked like, it reminded me of Minecraft, like the background. <laughs> it the does. I don't know what about it though. I think it's like the, the objects in it or something. Yeah, because it looks like Minecraft ground. Yeah. But yeah, the design was most likely also the reason why I chose to use, start using Endeavor OS with the i3 configuration because their i3 is just absolutely beautiful oh. so out of the box you don't have to configure a thing to make it look good oh i see okay. yeah i see what you mean i think uh the next one i might try is qtal just because it's configured in python and i know python so maybe i'll try that out then my third choice was i3 since i think it was like the most beginner friendly one something like that yeah i can definitely also recommend i3 is pretty good i want to try and use a dwm because i hear it's you can like recompile it and you can like change the code recompile change the code mm. and there's also another window manager that i want to try it's written in nim i think it's called nim though I don't think I've heard of that one. Yeah, it's not incredibly popular, but uh, I, I tried to use it, but it doesn't have like key bindings out of the box. So you have to add your own key bindings when you start it up. Oh. And that, that confused me for such a long time because I thought there should be like a key binding out of the box. And when I just boot it up and I can't do anything, I was wondering if I just didn't know the key bindings and I couldn't find any documentation on it whatsoever. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This little guy honestly has it out. <laughs> yeah, he and that other guy with the pipe name is constantly getting you. I think he left actually. Yeah, uh, I think so. Three guy. What was I gonna say now? Uh. I can't believe I've. Oh yeah, I I wanted to say that like eventually I actually want to like make my own. I'm not. I don't even know how to explain it. I kind of have you seen Archtitus 
which is like um, the statistics configuration of Arch Linux. I've seen his video on it. Like awesome Titus, something like that. He has something else, like his own awesome window manager configuration. I probably want to do something similar to that. Like at some point, and then just make it open source. Yeah, that, that would actually be kind of cool. Yeah, and then I would probably like do some kind of survey and see what, like what my audience wants the most. Just imp those features. Hey, you're going to become a well-known open source software developer. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> but I, I cool. definitely want to like create some kind of software as a service at some, something like that. I've been getting really into the idea of hacking and watching a bunch of videos and reading a bunch of articles from the website. I see. Yeah, really interesting. This guy, he constantly posts freaking dating websites on my, on, in my chat. Like, can he stop? Like, I have my own dating website. I don't need his backwater crap. You should make a dating website for programmers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's actually a good idea. <laughs> yeah, like Tinder, but then you base, <laughs> you base uh, the thing based on their code. <laughs> like the formatting of their code or something. Dude. So like a red flag for someone could be <laughs> someone that uses semicolons or something. Dude, Imagine that's a that. billion dollar idea. <laughs> Find your coding partner today. <laughs> exactly. You hate it when someone doesn't format their code correctly with two spaces after every function? You got it. We won't include any of them in your search results. <laughs> uh, have you ever watched Silicon Valley before? Uh, no. Oh, you should, you should watch it. Actually, a good series. Funny. Yeah, I'll actually put it on my watch list. Uh, but it was like this, <laughs> it was this scene at some point where uh, like the main character, I don't remember his name now, but he, he had a girlfriend, I think, that was also a programmer like from another company or something, like a rival company. And then they basically had a fight and broke up because I think um, he used like tabs to indent his, his um, code and she like pressed space four times. And they basically argued about that and that because he thought it was stupid. It is stupid. <laughs> it is. <laughs> like, why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, why would you press space four times? Rather just set your tab to B4 spaces. <laughs> like, it's, it, gee, no way. Yeah, it's a, it's a good series. Once you watch it, my, you'll... I feel like you'll probably agree with me. My favorite char character there was... Honestly, he was so funny, but it was mostly because he was racist. <laughs> <laughs> he's racist and he was a Satanist, I think. But he's like really funny. Like he's the okay, not a normal guy, but yeah. Man, I, I think really? that sounds pretty good. I, I'm gonna definitely give it a watch. Yeah, he's really because his best friend was like this Indian guy or Pakistani guy or something like that, <laughs> and he always made racist. <laughs> Like uh, saying your people, <laughs> like um these Indian people, <laughs> and then he was like, like you should go talk to them, they're your people, and then, like his friend was like I'm Pakistani, <laughs> bro. <Bruh. laughs> uh, the bones yeah, of that a, guy. <laughs> it's a really good series. It's frustrating at first though, especially like the way those guys are, especially the main guy. I can't remember his name. But he just made me angry, like in the first few episodes. <laughs> because of his <laughs> racism. <laughs> you think we should try out that um, thing though? Fire. Thingy. You know, I actually was thinking the same thing. Yeah, because I'm kind of brain dead at this point now playing this. <laughs> I was just going on instinct. Yeah, I was I was thinking of bringing it up, but I didn't know if I should. 
All right, so. I just exited. No, oh no, it's gonna. Oh, it's gonna kill me. Oh, it's gonna... Okay, so is it a website? Yes, I'm I'll assuming. send you the link. Then we can start at on level Discord, zero. Yeah, I'll send, uh, probably on Discord. Let's see. Yeah, I have both ones have my Discord open, but I'll send it on Discord. I haven't been on Discord in so long now. Yeah, I actually also don't really use Discord a lot at all. It it just takes so much resources, and it's not even worth keeping open. This is the first time that I have it on my PC, but I had it on my phone before. But I I just had it because I wanted to like talk to different people from those different um servers and stuff, especially the programming ones. But then I realized that most programmers are weird, <laughs> like they're very weird people. <laughs> I, I, it's not like what I expected at all because I thought like I could talk to them, you know, and network with them, maybe come up with some kind of project idea together and all that. But they're just weird guys that are like really deep into like internet memes and meme culture and stuff <laughs> like that, like the slang and stuff. It's just mm -mm. you finally met your people, but they were not <laughs> what you expected. <laughs> exactly, people on Twitter are dope though. Are they? I haven't really, I don't really go uh, too much on Twitter. At least the people from the like the developer communities. Apparently, Twitter is quite toxic, and I've seen it in some comments. I mean, in some yeah, in some comments from some posts. Yeah, I, I've seen a few uh, a pedo posts on Twitter, but that's about it. Just about this one guy that said he wants the age of consent to be like free, and I'm like, what? That's just sick. <laughs> But I'm glad that it's like kind of, um, I wouldn't say like restricted. I mean, not restricted because I'm not sure exactly like what the, the limit is, what you can say on there. Odyssey is kind of like that, right? Like no one really um, moderates the platform except for like not safe for work posts, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I think I've seen a lot of... Uh, or yeah i think that is kind of their whole idea behind it to kind of keep it open so you know you have free speech yeah yeah i actually really like that i wonder if i were to search up pedo there would i find a bunch of pedos thriving on the site <laughs> pedo. have you been on the dark web before yes i used to love it when i was young oh my my friend kind of got me onto it at some point but I wasn't really as into it as he was. Even tried scamming someone on there, but then he got scammed. <laughs> yeah, they have actually some cool uh, chat sites on there. Yeah, they are. Like they, they're kind of old. Like you can tell by the user interface and all that. But it's actually nice. Sometimes mm. there's some cool. Yeah, because the thing is, they can also not make it look like really good because of the Tor connection and how slow it is. So if they try and make yeah, it really yeah. good and add animations and stuff. Then either they'll say, hey, you can't use JavaScript, or it will just load really slow. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I'm going to take a quick pee break, and then I'll be back. All right.
that's better. All right. So uh, uh, let's see. Ended war game. Yes. So this is just the name of the thing. Uh, let's see. It teaches basic. I don't think this first part is too important. Uh, okay. Basically, they just motivate you to not give up. Use man. Use help. Use uh, shall. Use uh, Google. What not. Yeah. Okay. So let's I'm go. Glad it's in the gaps at the beginning. All right, so level zero is just getting into the machine, which is supposed to be the most easiest part. So you should just try and SSH into the machine. Uh, I don't know how to SSH, so I'm going to Google that. Me neither. <laughs> I wasn't going to bring it up if you didn't. <laughs> okay, so it's just SSH, then the username at the host IP address. So SSH, abandoned zero at uh at this bandit dot labs thing and i think it's dash p for password or no dash p is port which what's dash p uh, um, port uh, so let's see here Yeah, so dash p is port, so we want to go port 2220, and then we have to, do we have to enter a password? Yes, password is banded zero. So how do we enter a password? Do we just press enter and enter it then? Yes, let's try. Okay, yeah, so you just press enter. I'm kind of behind you. So you SSH and then the username? Yes. Username banded zero and the password. No, so it's SSH banded zero, the username yeah. at and then the host, which is banded.labs.overthewire.org. Oh. It's actually there at the very top of the page, SSH information. Oh, okay. And uh, then you specify. Definitely. Yeah. Just copy and paste that here. And then. Then it's dash P and then the port. Uh, and then we'll ask you for a fingerprint thing, you just say yeah. Okay. Two, two, zero. Uh, could not resolve, what? Could not resolve hostname bandit zero, name of services unknown. Okay, wait, SSH, then space bandit zero, space at bandit no, no, zero no, no, dot no. lab. There's no space, it's just bandit zero, and then at, and then the host. So okay. there's one word. Okay. Yeah, I think this is more easier if you've like done a, like an FTP server where you send stuff from your phone to your computer or something like that. And it's probably oh, a bit easier. I have no clue what that is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> that would make you, sense. You sure you want to continue connecting? So I say yes, yeah? Yes. Okay. And then you enter the password, which is bandit zero, and then you should be inside of their Linux machine. I honestly hate that when they don't show the ticks, or even like the star thing. Yeah, I also don't like that at all. It frustrates me so. Uh, okay, I think everything was right. Yeah, well, once you so it says all of this stuff's been installed. Installed? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's just all of this extra text. Yeah. Or okay. you'll conveniently build a few useful tools which you can find in the following locations. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I haven't seen, even seen that. I just looked past that. <laughs> Once logged in, go to the level one page and find out how to beat level one. Okay. <laughs> the password for next level is stored in a file called README, located in the home directory. Use the password to log into Bandit One using SSH. Okay, okay so, so just have was... to read the README. That's simple enough. Oh, so when you SSH into something, you basically like, like go. How do I explain this? Like, go into the machine or something. <laughs> yes, then you're basically in a different machine, like someone else's Linux machine or oh. something like that. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. It is pretty cool. 
All right, I got the password. So I can just enter there. Cool, I'm at level one. Tell me when you're ready for level two. Okay. Uh, it use cat, right? Yeah. Cat. Cat is for reading a file. Hey, they actually tell you commands you may find. You may need to solve this level. DU, what's DU? Man, a DU. Estimate file space usage. Why would we need that? Use this password to log in. Okay, so then I just SSH and then the password. Yeah, so now you go to bandit1 at the host name and you enter and then you paste in the password you got from the readme. Okay. Name. And the host name is. Yeah, I usually just press up on the keyboard and that will reuse oh, okay. the command. You should just remember to log out before you try and log into a different one. And you could probably use this machine as well. I don't know if that would be a smart idea though. SSHing into a machine and then SSHing into a machine from that machine. That would be kind of weird though. Okay, the, the history thing isn't here anymore. So I think I need to type it out again. That sucks. Yeah. So SSH banded one this time, not banded zero. Yes, this time it's banded one. Wait, where did you actually find this? Oof. Like this information? Oh, do you know a network chuck? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched this live stream that was like an hour long last year uh, where one of the other people that also became a hacker, uh, can't remember his name, but it's like orange hair. And he actually said he used this to help him become a hacker. Oh, I see. Yes, I try to do it as well. Goodness. Uh, bandit one at, and then the host name. The host name is that um, the bandit something dot over the wire dot old, right? Yes, you'll see it there on the website. It says SSH information and host. You can just copy that and paste it into the terminal. So put that there and then dash P. For port, yeah. Dot port, which is 2,120. And then do I just press enter then and put in the password? Yes. Just put in the password. Yeah, okay. you just press enter. So we made it into bandit one. Being kind of slow, it's not showing anything yet. My goodness. Oof. You did actually log out of the previous. Uh, oh. <laughs> no, I did not. I just press control D or exit or log out. Yeah, control C. So how do I log out of it? Yeah, control D, exit oh. or log out. I think log out should work, but control, but exit should also work. Log out. Okay. So. And now you should have your history if you uh, press the okay. up arrow. Okay, so that's why it didn't work. Password, is it now? Uh. Okay, there we go. Are you into level one? Yeah. All right, and that's basically how all the levels work. It will just keep getting uh, building up from the, what we previously know. So every time okay. you try and get into the next level with the password you find in wherever they stored it. Okay. So the password for the next level is stored in a file called located in the home directory. File so called located in home directory. What? Oh, oh no, it's, it's a dash. A dash. <laughs> 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 oh you know why they did that because you could probably like use file and then 
passing dash and it should give you what type of file it is. And that's why it looks so confusing. Oh wow, what? this is incredibly oh. slow. Oh, and you should escape it. Okay, that makes sense. So how what do you mean escape, escape it? it? Uh, Google search for dashed file name. Uh, let's see. You should because you can't read a dash, so you should say dot slash dash to specify it. Like mm. when you're trying to execute a shell file. Okay, so that's okay, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to level two. So log out of this one and then, oh, oh no, I don't say anything. Yeah, then you just log out of this one and then go to level two. Okay. Just like with the first one. I see. Okay. I think I'm getting used to it now. Ah, yeah, level two is pretty easy as well. Very similar to level one. Or, yeah. Yeah, this is level two. Which level is this? Level two, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, so we're not supposed to do anything with the password? Yeah, you paste it in to get to the next level. Oh, okay. And then each one, every time it's like bandit two instead. Like yes. right now it would be bandit two. Yes, so every the time the bandit number updates when you go to the next level. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually looking to go to level 16 because that's where I left off because it was too difficult. 16. Yeah, that was like super difficult. I just got the password and I was like, I can't take anymore. I got to sleep and I never logged on again. How long did you spend on it? Level 16, I spent maybe like 45 minutes, if it, not an hour on that. Oh. Because it gets like super intense later. <laughs> can't say that I look forward to it. <laughs> <clears throat> Spaces is this file name. So, oh, it's called Spaces is this file name. Yeah, the first few levels are at least the, the most of the tricky things are just the words. Wait, but hmm. having some trouble. Uh, is the, you have to like put this around something like some kind of quotes or brackets. Yeah. If there's the... a... Yeah. If there's like spaces in a file name, you either put double quotes around it or you use backslashes at every space. Okay. I just used tab to autocomplete for me because <laughs> I'm too lazy to type. Thought you could do that. Okay. Oof. Okay. okay. So this is going to be a bit difficult. Yeah, so once you get to the level fact four, that that's what it's going to yeah, level four is where it starts getting oofed. Uh, okay, the pass level four. Yeah, the level three was like super easy, so it didn't take too long to get past that one. I was so confused now. I'm at <laughs> I'm at level three now. Uh, pass for the next level is store. Okay. In here, let me just get this quickly. Uh -huh. <laughs> a hidden file so then it's not in here what hmm. uh, having some trouble yeah I'm looking for the command that you need for the hidden file like get the content of the hidden file. 
so if you want to list a hidden file, it will be Alice-A to list hidden files. And then if you want to read it, you can just use cat. Really? Yeah. Because it's basically just normal file. Just oh, it's a directory. Code. Okay. Oh, that's why. Oh. Okay, that makes more sense now. Okay, but... Is there nothing in here? Yeah, that's why you should Alice dash A to see the hidden file. <laughs> makes sense. Uh, I've hidden. You remind me like the first time I was here, I was also just like absolutely sucking <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel like that. Uh, okay. Did you finish level four yet? Yeah, I'm at level five. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'll catch up now. Yeah, so with level four, uh, I can recommend you to use the file command because I actually just read every file one by one because I didn't know I can use the file command. But then when I used the file command, I learned that if you just use that, then you can get the answer instantly. Okay. So password system. The only human readable file. Okay. So CD in here in file. Okay. Okay, I got it. Next one is five. What? Permission denied. Permission denied. Like the only human readable file. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that's so yeah, if you use file, then you can like see which one is an ASCII text which is human readable. Is it what? Like ASCII text would be like A B C. So like what we can read. So that would be human readable. Oh, but there are a bunch of them like Apple extension, mine encoding. Yeah, so what you do is you say file, and then space, dot, slash, and then star. Oh. oh my goodness, now I need to log back into it. Now what's the password for this one? Okay, I'm back in here now. CD in here. In. Oh. Oof. Okay, not that far. Human readable. 1033 bytes, not executable. I found a massive string of text, but I don't know if that is the, <laughs> the, the actual one. Which one are you at now? Uh, I'm at level five. Oh, okay. I'm at four. Wait, so ASCII text is the file name, right? No, no. So like ASCII would be the, the type of text inside of it. <clears throat> so when you say file and then a dot slash star, you'll see there's a file called with ASCII next to it. Oh. And that's the one you can read because that's human readable. If you try to read any of the others, it will just blurt out nonsense. Yeah. So the password it's stored in 
that file. Yes. Because I see it, but I can't seem to. Okay, never mind. Oh, it's, you have to use the file name. I mean, file. Right. File zero seven. What? Uh, before I continue, let me help you for yours because then you can have two brains on the same task. So what troubles are you having? Uh, what's the file name? Like the, I see the ASCII text thing and it says file name 07, then um, colon space ASCII text. So is that, oh, the dot slash, okay, never mind. Yeah, the dot slash. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they, they constantly build off of the previous knowledge. Yeah, I should keep that in mind. I wonder. Okay, I got it now. Log out. I wonder who actually created this. It's actually quite a good idea. Yeah, definitely agree. Password for the next level is stored in a file somewhere under the in here directory as all of the following properties. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like I, I can't find the file that is 1033 bytes. Commands we need to. but it is human readable. So let me, let's see. <coughs> uh, so these, wait, these are all directories over here. Yeah, there's a bunch of directories and you have to like, do like a recursive search for all of the directories, which is a little bit of a pain in the butt. That, that does indeed sound like one. So I need to like CD into each directory to the file thing in the file dot star you know i used to do that as well when i did this for my first time but uh, <laughs> luckily since then i have a build of a bit of knowledge and you can just say dot slash star slash star and that will search through everything in this directory oh okay that makes sense yeah i also used to do that i was so stupid when i was younger because I, I actually seed into every single directory and read every single file, but I know there's now a better way. Yeah. As I got all of the files that are human readable, now the problem is to actually get the file themselves to be the right size and stuff. Oh my goodness. Wait, are these all file names? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh... Why is it formatted like this though? Like, how do you mean like? It's for... like all this big block of different names. Oh, it looks like one big name actually. Yeah, it's actually like uh, two tabs. Like one has like the folder and file name. And then next to it is the, it says ASCII text. And it, oh wait, you're probably not using a file, you're probably using LS, right? Uh, or like, what What did you use to it? Oh, okay, I see. Oh. <laughs> I didn't use the file command. Oh, I see. You probably used Alice. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. Oh, no, I just pressed, um, what's it? Dot slash star slash star asterisk. I can't remember what you oh. call it. 
Oh, okay, yeah, that's very confusing. <laughs> yeah, so now it's just this weird thing. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, now I got it. This makes <laughs> this makes a lot more sense. So I think we have to like use them all together now or something. I have no idea how to do that. I think it's through piping, but I have no idea. Password is stored in the file and not executable. So okay, let me check. Which yeah. file types aren't executable. Yeah, and a lot of them are not executable. I think all of them are not executable. That's clean. Yeah, some of them have like executable permissions over group. So I think we should probably focus on the ones that are listed in white. Is that in white? <laughs> what am I in a green? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I used, I'll actually, I'll send you the, the command I used. Uh, where's my discord? There it is. So basically I used, oh gosh, they're formatting it. Okay, I'll send it over WhatsApp. <laughs> uh, they're also formatting it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so I used ls and then dash l to long list them. And then dot yeah. slash star slash star. Okay. So now I just got to somehow get all the white ones. But it all seem to end with file two. So I guess I can just get all the file twos. Okay, so I have narrowed it oh, down okay. to these ones right here. So all of those are potential threats for us. Mm, I see. Uh... And if I could just somehow throw them into file. But I don't know how to do that. Wouldn't, isn't there like some kind of command that you can use to see what the file size of each? Yes, for that you can use ls-l and that will give you the file size. But I tried searching for one that is 1033 bytes. But I couldn't yeah. quite find one of that size. I, I can try mm, searching again. But yeah, I can remember 1033. No, none of them. So I'm wondering if it's not all the, in bytes. It seems like all of them are four zero or nine six. Oh, you know what I can do? I can try and cat through them all. Let's see. Nope, I can't do that either. What a dick move. Huh. Uh... But see, all of these files also are executable, so it can't be them. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Oh, you know what? I think grip doesn't echo anything out afterwards, so that that makes life difficult. And you can't create files either. I actually see what they recommend to use here. Uh, I 
and it connects like, acting up right now. Damn, I created a file, but fine. now they don't want me to read it. DU, what does DU do again? <gasps> I think I found her answer. I think I finally found her answer. Wish me luck. DU? Nope, I did not find her answer. Let's be sad. You sounded like you had so much hope. <laughs> I did. My internet connection is being extreme right now. Yeah, I, I can somewhat hear it. You know, the, the internet connection is always great until you want to do something and then it's bad. Yeah. I just don't understand. None of these are 133 bytes. I tried to filter through them, but none of them are that size. So maybe the fi it changed. Uh, yes. What is it now? In. I think I might have found it. You think you might have found it? I, I'm checking now quickly. Oh my goodness. I was being so slow right now. I feel kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so cat. Uh, maybe here. Zero seven. I have high hopes for this because it's even the same number as the last one was. What? Okay. Yeah. Um. So, uh. What? Oh. It I think I found it. I found it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> which one? Which one is it? It's um, wait quickly. So the directory is maybe here zero seven. Something similar to that, and then the file is. Is it file? file two? Um, it's file two. Is it file two? Yeah. Dot slash dot file two. How did you find it? I I just googled this command to like filter through things based on file size. It's find dot um dash size and then ten thirty three and then c for bytes. Wait, is that is it really this massive piece of text? It's quite short by me. Quite short. Yeah, it looks the same as the other passwords. 
Okay, maybe I <laughs> selected the wrong one. Yeah, the... So it's... Wait, I'll send you the... What do you call it? The root. We are finally putting our brains together to defeat this. I'm honestly happy I at least got one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm quite impressed. Thank you. I need to paste it now. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I sent the, <laughs> the whole thing, but you can just copy the right part. <clears throat> okay, let me just see if it actually works now. Wait, did you just... Oh, no, but I did do that. Oh, wait, is it an invisible file? Honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> what? Is it an invisible file? That's why we couldn't see it. But I, I exactly didn't search for them because they didn't specify invisible. Damn, just goes to show. Dude, Seems like well you could done. learn a thing or two from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it works. Dude, you're so smart. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, finally level six. An invisible file, of course. They will not catch us up guard like that again. The password for the next level is stored somewhere on the server and has all the following properties. Owned by user bandit seven, owned by group bandit six and 33 bytes in size. Owned by user? And owned by group. What does that mean exactly? Like with a group, a bunch of people can be in a group. So a bunch of people can access that file if they're in that group. With a yeah. user, you're like your user would be um, whatever your usual username would be. For in my case, it would be Netsu. Or in this case, Bandit6. Oh, I see. Hmm. All right. Now, who, am, who are we? Who am I? Yeah, we're banded six. Uh, okay, so I guess I could like use the same command that I used last time. I'm going to start close the tab now. Okay, what's it? Control Shift T to re reopen it. Ah, stop spamming my chat, people. <laughs> I swear. Thank goodness. You know, I was thinking I shouldn't enable a bot for the spamming because never, no one ever spams in my chat. But you know, they, they do now. For some reason. <laughs> okay, so what's the size? Yeah, 33. So that is 33C. I'm correct. What? Drill. Okay, so we're gonna have to search how to filter it based on the users in the group. Mm. And the group would be. And it's six. I swear, I'm truly just going to kick these people, they can stop spamming. Jeebers. I found it. Did you? Yeah, it's in... S I'll actually just uh, paste it in for you. So basically what you had to do is you had to use the find command. And you had to search from root 
and you had to basically specify the user and the group you wanted to find. Uh, I, I was close. I used the find command, but I was just um, specifying the file size. I didn't even know you could do it with the groups. Yeah, I just quickly Googled it and it actually turned up. Oh. Uh. Dude, like if you actually had to search this without find, it would take forever. Holy crap. <laughs> Like, you'd never think of it's in a freaking dpackage directory. Wait, so what's this top part? Like the variable slash library thing? Yeah, so that would be the location of the file that you have to read. Oh. So that would be in slash var lib dpkg info and then like there's the file. CD yeah, you can actually just cat from where you are. You can just kind of cat and then paste oh. in that line. And then the one below it is how I found it. I used find and it searched from root, everything that's in group bandit six and the user or the owner bandit seven. Oh. What? Oof, okay, that's gonna be a massive pain. Okay, I found the password for the next level. <laughs> this one was actually pretty easy. <laughs> oh, do you? <laughs> I'm still over here. Uh, wait, so is this the password? Yeah, so the password is in bandit7.password. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. Next to the phone, next to the word million. Yeah, here you can use grip. <laughs> so, since I know you didn't really use grip, so you yeah. would say cat and then the file name, that's to read it. Then you use the pipe symbol, so that would be like the, the thing that's like a straight line on your keyboard. It's like right above yeah. the backslash, or yeah. yeah. And then you say grip. And you specify dash i, so there's no, um, so it doesn't worry about cam capital case and stuff. And you specify the okay. word, and then we'll search for everything, and only return the line with that word in it. I absolutely love using grip. This, what? No such file directory. Did you get it? Uh, not yet. I don't know why it says no such follow directory. Give me. Yeah, so mm. data.txt, you have to read that file. Keep saying no such follow directory, even Could... though I see like the data.txt thing, yeah. You did cat it, right? So it's cat so dot it's... dot txt. Could you send me the command you're yeah. using? Maybe you typed it wrong or I explained it wrong. Well, now. Wait, this one I put the pick. Let me just see if it was this small mistake now. Because when I put spaces in between the, the pipe symbols. Okay, it's still not working. Uh. Copying. Hmm. I don't know why my laptop's being so slow right now. It's only using like 1.3 gigabytes RAM. 
Uh, do you use swap? Should still be fine. Am I using what? Do you use swap? What swap? Like when you run HTOP, there's like a, usually a four bars. The last one would be like I think SWT or something like that. Um, HTOP. Let's see. Yes, it would oh. say SWP. That would be swap. Do you have any of that? I don't. Know. I'll check now. Now. Paste this thing in here. Yeah, swap is usually oh. what slows my computer down. I don't, okay, I remember seeing it in HTOP before now, actually. Now that I think of it, I seem to just. Are you still there? Uh, he seems to have disconnected from the call. That is quite unfortunate. Maybe his Wi-Fi turned off for a bit. No problem. I can try and figure this out. Oof. I wonder. Uh, yeah, here it uh, says you disconnected. Uh, let's see. I probably got like man unique or something. A. They all just get used once. Weird. Uh, but if it only occurs once, then it is unique. Uh, do I do I like understand it incorrectly? The password for next level is stored in the file data.txt, and it is the only line of text that occurs only once. But all of these occur only once, does it not? Maybe try to close and reopen. There. But I don't understand all of these occur only once. Oh, you know what? 
what I think is happening is unique only gets everyone once. Okay, I think I'm back now. Ah, yeah, now you're back. I don't know what happened there. Discord being Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I kind of need your help with this one. So, at w which level are you right now? Level 7? Yeah, I'm still at 7. Uh, what I, was level 7? I sent you the... Okay, no. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I can send it. That's the command that I tried using now. Uh, did you uh, spell it correctly? I think you did. Let me quickly match them. Yeah, I still think so. Don't yeah, so it's text. cat data. Dot... No, 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 it's not data.txt, it's data.txt. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I always use tab to autocomplete. Okay, there we go. Then, are you at eight now? Uh, yeah. Okay. Jeepers, these people just, they don't stop. Is, <coughs> are they the same people? Because they're not going to increase the time out they have to wait to like a day or something so they can't come back or is there somehow so i can just block them chat. yeah these people constantly spam my chat and like for uh for sex stuff like stop is it your i'm guessing it's not your subscribers no definitely not okay i'm just going to hide that also YouTube just those random people with random accounts yeah, like love face dot x y z dash online strips without clothing. Be gone. Wow. It's the only line that what? The password for the next level is stored in file data dot txt, and is the only line of text that occurs only once. Hmm. Alpha reading material is piping and redirection. Okay, that's kind of vague though. Yeah, like basically what they say is that all of these lines occur more than once, but that one line is the only line that only occurs once. Yeah. But e, I have no idea how to, to get. No, that. I mean the alpha reading material part. They say piping and redirection. I mean that's kind of vague. Oh, it's actually a link. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> oh, I found it. Did you? Yeah, I have no idea what I did or how it got here, but I found it. So basically, you have to use the sort command. Like, I've never even heard of this. Sort lines of text files. Uh, right sorted concatenate of all files. Okay, but well, why do you have to sort it? What does sort have to do with this? That doesn't make sense. Okay. Very weird. But basically, you say sort data.txt. Okay, I get it. Okay, guys, so understand why you need to sort it. Okay, so you say sort data.txt. Then you use a pipe. And then unique. Yeah. And then dash u. But unique doesn't have like a, it's just U-N-I-Q. Okay. And then, what and comes after unique? Dash U. Dash U. Hmm. Yeah, so basically you need to sort all of the lines. So all of those that are the same or underneath each other. Then unique will specifically uh, basically find because it doesn't check oh. the whole file it just checks underneath each yeah. other which is kind of stupid but <laughs> yeah and it will get the that specific one for you okay that makes that's cool all right next level 
Yeah, just need to go for... to the bathroom quickly. No problem. The password for the next level, or the, the password for the next level is stored in a file called data.txt. One of the few human readable strings received by several dash characters. Let. Okay, okay, I see. So basically, I have to uh, grip dash i. Uh, I wonder if this uh, workaround will work. And I don't think dash i is really necessary. Ah, okay. Interesting. So I need to specifically find where that would be. So it's probably strings. Strings for each file given these strings printable character. So strings and then Okay, so let's try strings data.txt aha oh, and it's equal symbols so, so it's probably this one right here oh but it oh there's more okay uh received by several so grip dash i and it's not my glasses made it weird okay so it's probably this one then or is this one it's one of these preceded by several equal symbols. Yeah, it's probably this one. This one looks the most like it. Yeah. I really basically forgot that I started to eat. <laughs> Me <up>. too. <laughs> yeah, you can go eat if you want. You can always continue. Oh, no, it's fine. Just gonna warm up some food. No, I'm, I'm determined to get to at least level 16. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna sleep until we get there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so level 9 isn't too difficult. Did you figure it out yet? Yeah. Okay. So basically, you have a strings command. Then you pass in the file into that strings command, and that will basically return everything that's human readable inside of the file. And then uh, you just use grip to get the, what you need. And then... Pipe symbol, I'm guessing. Yes, you pipe into grip. grip. Uh, wait, so, I didn't even read what we want to do here. So, password, blah, 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 readable strings, preceded by several equal sign characters. So then, pipe symbol, grip, and then, um, quotes or something. And yeah, then, then equal signs inside of them. Yes, exactly. And then the one that looks most like a password is the correct one. Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, grip is actually quite useful. Yeah, I, I freaking love grip so much. And before I did this for the first time, I never used it because I couldn't understand it. Mm, yeah, I didn't really know what it did up until now. I just heard other YouTubers talk about it. Yeah, and it's, it's, as you use it, you find out how useful it becomes. I like use it every day. Yeah. What's going on here? Let me just go get the food good. Okay, nice. Level 10 was easy enough. Like I remember the very first time I did this, it was so difficult. But at least now I have a friend to do it with me, which is very nice. Uh, how's YouTube looking? <laughs> no, be gone, you farts. My weapons be gone. 
<laughs> yeah, the, these freaking people that constantly spams the channel. So now I'm just literally oh. hiding them from the channel. So now they can't post at all anymore. I should have done that from the start. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like the bot hides them like if they spam. So it's nice, but I should have just from the start do that because now there's like, just like a ton of bot messengers of them spamming. The bot. Yeah, the bot constantly removes the spam messengers. And once their timer runs out and they're allowed to send again, they sp send it again. And then the bot has to remove oh. it again. And they're the only things that actually are is pretty chatting right now. So now the whole chat is just the bot saying he removed the message. Is it like a like one of YouTube's bots or something? Or is it one that you coded yourself? Uh, no, this is one that's provided by um, one of these... Uh, websites that you can integrate with your channel when you live stream like oh. uh, have you ever heard of um the obs streaming services or like the streamlabs obs i've heard of streamlabs obs yeah yeah basically their website has a bot that can moderate your chat oh i see oh my goodness do you still have the the password in your terminal somewhere because I had to exit mine now, and I copied it, but now it's gone from my clipboard. Uh, for which level? For level eight, nine, eight, yeah, eight. Eight. To get into level nine, yeah. Cheebers, uh, level nine. I have to go search for that. Oh, I mean, I mean, level nine. <laughs> Sorry, level nine to get to level ten. Okay, <laughs> that was a bit scary there for a second. <laughs> there you go. There I don't know. I. Yeah. I think I tried. Oh yeah, I tried putting in the password or something, and then, I don't know, it did something weird, because I saw, what the thing, Neo, NeoFetch, like the thing that it usually makes, I saw it at the bottom of the terminal, so then I just exited it, <laughs> not sure what that was. Yeah, at least level 10 is pretty easy, so it wouldn't be too much of a hit. Did you figure that one out too as well? Yeah, it is really easy. Like, use base oh, yeah. 64. And literally, if you man base 64, like, I think it's like the very first command, which is which gives you the answer. Base 64. Yeah, like the very first flag you see will get you the answer. So it's oh. like so easy. Wait, what is base 64 actually? Because oh, I know in... like... Yeah? Yeah, it's like an encryption method. So... Okay, because I know um base 2 is binary, right? And then base 16 is hexadecimal. And base 10 is like normal numbers that we use. Actually, now that you mention it like that, now I wonder, is base 64 an encryption method? Because <laughs> that's what I've been <laughs> thinking it was. <laughs> because I used the same thing in... I lo in the project that I created, or like the feature of that product, pro well, project that I created in my last video, but I, I don't know what it was. <clears throat> I don't know what it is actually. Weird. I, I think base 64 is, I don't know, let's see, base 64. I think it's encryption. Uh, because you can encrypt, you can encode and decode. So I think uh, commonly used when there's need to encode in binary. Is it the decode flag? Yes, the decode flag. Okay, so base sixty four uh, looks like you use it to like um to like send massive files over the internet, like a binary. And oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird, interesting. Wait, you can't hear me chewing, right? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Move the mic a bit further. Uh, Why am I in Vim? 
What? <laughs> Is this film? Not sure. You? What? I'm honestly so confused right now. Uh, what level are you at? Ten. Um. Ye ye what? Yes, but I am in vum for some reason. <laughs> I'm trying to escape because I'm in insert mode. I think. Yeah. Then you Wait, just no, press escape and then you hit colon Q. No, my thing is just being weird. Like it's it's not um showing the stuff properly. Things are overlapping here. Like the text is overlapping into the space where I have to type. So now it looks like I'm in it. But press control and okay. L and see what happens. Control L. Okay, I made one space at least. Yes, That's it's fine weird. now. Yeah, control L should be um, clearing the terminal. <laughs> Oh no, no, it's not doing that. Uh, but um, okay, what do we have to do here? Password for the next level is stored in. Okay, okay. So, so then I'm guessing base sixty four, and then dot dot txt, and then the dash d thing, the flag. like that oh first try do you get it yeah nice i'm glad i figured that out on my own i think like the more you you start like use different commands even if it's not the same thing you actually start to, like get a feel for how it works like mm. how to write it out Level is stored in file data.txt where all lowercase and uppercase letters have been rotated by 13 positions. Ah, found it. What? I have no idea what I did, but I found it. Is it level 11? Yes. I literally just copied and pasted a piece of code from Stack Overflow and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, since I didn't really know how to explain it, I'll actually just <laughs> so you can see what I did. I use TR because that I know that rotates for so that allows you to kind of rotate things and change things in text. And then you have to do ROT thirteen, which seems to be this piece of code that you enter. Oh, I don't even understand what the the problem was in the first place. Basically, they almost I don't want to say encrypted it, but they basically moved the text up with like 13 spaces or 13 letters so if it was a then it will be 13 letters from a now so a oh. b c d e f g h i j k l m n so it will okay. be n okay that makes a lot more sense because i thought they just like moved the, the text in the file differently like the letters in the in the file itself because okay. that did not make any sense in my mind uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, the first time I also thought of that. <laughs> oh, you know. mm. I entered the command now, but now it's showing me like the option to write something with the chevron in front of it. What? There's <laughs> <laughs> like this thing. I sent you the message now. <laughs> I sent you the thing and then you have like the option to write something. Oh, add a single quote <laughs> and then press enter. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you accidentally okay. didn't add a single quote at the end. <laughs> yeah, that also that happens to me and it confuses me every time. <laughs>
I really don't like how long this one is. Yeah. A hex dump of a file. I've never heard of that before. Yeah, I remember I had like a ton of trouble figuring this out at the the first time I did it, and I can't remember what it was. Like hex dump, I think is like some sort of. I I I can't even remember. I just remember that that like this weird text it has. Later on, it gets transformed into the real text. And then there's the he hex dump command, which you can use to un hex things. Oh. What is the hex dump command? Because I don't even see it on the page. Yeah, it's either HD or hex dump. And you can just like man it. HD. I'm surprised they don't give it. Like, um, give other commands you may need to solve this level. They, I did that. Oh, weird. Oh, okay, you know, they want us to use XXD. That's why. Maybe useful to create the directory in the slash EMP. Don't seem to specify the name of the directory. Wait, I don't get what they mean. They say that um, it might be useful to create a directory under slash DMP. Yes, because... But there aren't any other directories in the, the server thing. Yeah, see, slash TMP is a temporary directory thing. So once the PC reboots, slash TMP is emptied. So basically, oh. it is where you can just put temporary files. So you can just say slash TMP and in the file name you want. And they will create the file. Okay, I see. And you can like mm -hmm. use this um, symbol that you sent me to actually uh, put the data into a file. Okay. Oh gosh, it, it only gets worse. <laughs> Are you still at 12? Yeah. Okay. Not exactly sure I get what we're supposed to do here. I think we're just supposed to repeatedly, I think, repeatedly unhex it, but I have no idea if I'm actually correct or not. Oh, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm trying to see if, if it works. Yeah, currently the hexes are only getting larger. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way around. <laughs> um, oh, I am. I am doing it the wrong way around. Oh, crap. 
I should do add a dash R flag, that's why. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere with the XDD thing. I'm busy reading up what a hex dump is. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I can even understand why. Because <laughs> I myself uh, or isn't even really quite sure what it is. It says it's a hexadecimal view on screen or paper of computer data from memory or from a computer or storage device. But I'm still not exactly sure what that means. <laughs> Me neither. I guess I've, I've done what they asked us to do. However, oh wait, never mind. I think I found it. I think I might have figured out how to solve it. Uh, let's hope I'm correct. Invalid input. Damn, I'm constantly getting invalid input. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, okay, it's because base sixty. I was hoping it was encrypted in base sixty four, but it wasn't. Crap. I see the different names for the program function. Yeah, on Wikipedia, uh, hex dump, HD, OD, XXD, <laughs> and dump. Oh yeah, I also remember that page. I was, I was there once. <laughs> Honestly, I have no clue what this is. I used to know how to like convert like normal numbers into hexadecimal and hexadecimal to binary and binary to hexadecimal because I had to learn it for computer science last year but I have no clue how to do it anymore yeah like I, I don't I, understand I, this year anymore like I think I solved the first step but I can't really get past that basically you execute this command I think and then that will be now inside of a file one 
if you're now inside of the slash tmp directory and yeah. if you read that file you get like this weird word things i was hoping that would be base 64 but it wasn't it says permission denied by me yeah you should be in the in this example i am in the slash tmp directory oh, oh. Hmm. Uh, we used to create a directory under slash tmp in which you can work using mkdir for example and then create things then copy the data file using cp and rename it using mv why would you want to rename it Why is this not working? Oh, oh TMP. I spelt it. I made a directory under the TMP directory now, but it doesn't show up anywhere. You should be able to CD into it. Mm. Like if you if you are in the TMP directory and you go mkdir x, then you can go cdx if I'm not mistaken. Wait, so you have to already? Oh yeah, but you have to already be in the TMP directory to make a directory in there. Well, you could go mkdir slash tmp slash and then the directory. Yeah, I, I tried doing that now, but it doesn't show. Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind. Okay, okay. I forgot to cd into the directory. Oh, you know what? So once you unhex a decimal it, then the file you get is a gzip compressed file. Yeah. Have you un uh, have you like unhexadecimaled your file? No, not yet. Okay, I'll I actually sent you, already sent you the command for that. Oh, did you do it already? Yeah, it's the X X D one. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to run it. <laughs> I was so focused on making a directory. And if you say file one, it says it's a gzip compressed data directory.
Oh, I see. Wait, is, is this hexadecimal? Yeah, so you convert it from hexadecimal to gzip. <laughs> Why is the... <laughs> Why is the, um, what do you call it? It looks like some kind of Asian language letters. Wait, what? Asian Let language letters. Let me see if I can copy this. I don't know what language it is. It's like Chinese or Japanese or something. <laughs> the same. There's another one. <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, that's why you gotta make a directory because you can't list. Okay, makes sense. Why are you getting those? <laughs> I don't know. I I cast it into the one file. Cat it into the one file, and that's yeah. what you got. Yeah, there's there's like a bunch of other stuff, but it's like just this other stuff in between as well. Like I'll try and copy the whole thing, and it's just so weirdly formatted, like it's all over the place. And you did that, and you got that after using the xxd command. Yeah, when I alist, I just saw the the one file called one, and then I just cat it into it. Weird. This is what's inside of it. Yeah, see that is if you go file and you um and you uh get that file, what does it say? So like file and then I think one or whatever you call that file. Oh I see. Gzip compressed data was data two dot bin was modified. F compression. Hmm. Yes. I think I just found like um I found a <laughs> a question posted on linuxquestions.org and I think they're doing the same thing that we're doing but they are at level 14 it seems or 15 Yeah I actually found found the medium article that seems to walk us through it but I'm actually struggling following along <laughs> cuz I'm trying to figure out what's happening but ugh. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll actually send it to you as well. Then you can like try and f maybe see if you can understand what's going on here. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to man these things, but I didn't quite understand what's happening. Honestly doubt it, but I'll try. This is one of the more difficult ones. <laughs>
It's weird. Ah, uh, finally something I understand. Okay, so I kind of get what's happening now. Uh, the tar got too cheesy. So basically, what ha what's happening? Uh, you're still there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So <coughs> basically, what's happening is it is compressed in like a multiple versions of compress. For example, you know dot zip and dot rar, but just the Linux yeah. versions, and we have to decompress them. That's what's happening. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, th this is a quite a difficult one. <laughs> oh, I finally got a binary. That's probably something good. Was they just make it a massive pain to actually get to the answer? Yeah. Oh my word, more? Actually, you know what? You think we're going to skip this one? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can. Then, like, because maybe it's literally you have to... If we have strength. <laughs> yeah, because we literally have to decrypt it like 10 times. Oh. That is such a pain. I already hate decrypting just once. And now I have to use other things as well, like bzip and gzip. And free, no man. So you think we're not yeah. gonna skip this one? Yeah. Okay, so, so there's the password I shared it with you. <laughs> oh, did you get the password? Yes, actually at the very end of this um, of this oh, article, article I sent you, I just didn't want to use it because I wanted to do it myself, and then I, it just got massive pain. <laughs> Oh gosh, permission denied. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. 
Okay, so level 13. Can only be a Watch how this is more or less the same thing again. More decryption. <laughs> is it? Oh gosh. No, I'm just saying, like, imagine what was that now. Oh, I really have it. <laughs> Okay, I see. So, so we have to hit a what? A, not a private SSH key. Yeah, so I think we have to like SSH into bandit user fourteen and then read it from there. Oh, okay. Oh. So the Password and the host is still the same, right? I mean, the port and host. Yeah, I believe so. But I think we now have to, like, use the private SSH key. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Um. This would be Nothing's happening. Wonder if I did it right. Oh, okay. Never mind. I, I see why <laughs> I didn't get anywhere. Yeah. So the the host name this time is localhost. Wait. So are we supposed to like SSH into that server now? Yes, I got it. So, so basically, once you're inside of the Bandit 13, you then have to yeah. use SSH, and then you have to insert the private key. And you'll notice the private key is in that directory. So what you then do is you say SSH-I dot slash, and then enter the private key name, which is like SSH key dot private. And then you say Bandit 14 at localhost. Okay, wait, okay. SSH um, dash I. Yeah, and then the file name inside of the folder you are, which is SSH key dot private. Yeah, SSH key dot private. And then bandit 14 at localhost and no ports this time. Okay. At localhost. Okay. Damn, these are these are difficult things. Yeah. Also, then this is level fourteen, like once you SSH into that. Yes, then you're now on level fourteen. Oh. You know all of the passwords are here. We just don't have access to them. I literally just found all of the passwords, so you didn't have access. Yeah, that sucks. How do you submit the password to a port? Oh. 
Wait, the, the password of the current level. Oh, yeah, the you password. can just maybe give me no, a no, second. No. I'll be back I right now. The password of the current level. But we didn't get a password. Okay. Uh, All right, sorry, I'm back. No problem. Um, there should be like a flag to include the password. Let's see. Who's a bad password? I think. Password. Wait, but what is the actual password though? Is it like that? What was in that private? I mean, that SSH key, the private file. No, no, no. See, if you go back to the previous lesson, they'll tell you the next level's password is in there, uh, in that one folder. And then uh, once you read that file, then you get the password to go into the next level. But now you have to submit that password you got from that file to go to the next level. So it is like okay. slash etc bandit pass. Wait, so where did you get that then? Excuse me? Where did you get that then? Oh, uh, get what? That uh, the etc bandit pass. Yeah, it's on the previous or... level description. Oh, 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 that's the root. Okay, because I went into the, the SSH key private file, and then there was like this long string of letters. It was like a really long password, basically. Oh no, that is just to get into the next one, into Bandit uh, 15. I mean, Bandit 14. Oh. Okay. Uh, you so are at level then... 14 now, right? Yeah, wait, let me just read this again. Password for the next level can be retrieved by submitting the password of the current level. Oh, so is there a password in this? No, there aren't any directories here either. Yeah, you'll see in if you go to 13 to 14, there's like the password for the next level is stored in slash etc bandit pass. If you go to like the previous level description. Okay, wait, okay, okay. Uh, 13. Yeah, and can only be read by user bandit 14. Yes, and now we now logged in as user bandit 14, so we can read it. Isn't that on the other server? Oh, so do we have to like go back to that server? No, we can stay in it. bandit 14 because we were bandit 13. So then we used yeah. SSH to log in as bandit 14 with that secret key. Now that we're banded 14, we can read what is inside of that uh, banded 14 file instead of the etc directory. And we can get that password to go to banded 15. I, I think I see what's going on. Wait, how do we log into this now again? I mean, into the last one. Let's check.
but if you're struggling here is the that password uh, for uh, 14 or in 14 that you should use to oh. get to 15 okay thank you uh hmm. I didn't know how to pass in the password. I think I might have found an article that shows you how. Not exactly sure. I'm just gonna send it to you physically. Let's see. This is if you piece over though. So I'm not exactly sure if it's the same thing. I think it's pretty similar. Oh, yes. I I think you actually hit the jackpot. Uh, let me quickly oh, see. Because yeah. if I'm lucky, because I used to work a lot with uh, FTP stuff, so if I'm a remember correct. Nope, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no address associated with host name. F. Remember something with a password, but I can't quite put my finger on it. We used to do it, or I used to do it with with FTP. Because everyone says we should use SSH pass, but SSH pass isn't installed. Mm. And we probably have to be, yeah, we have to be pseudo to do that. But you see what I mean? Like at the start, they were so easy, but they just become so complex later. <laughs> yeah. Connection closed by remote host.
I think we should use open SSL. I was looking at the different commands that they recommend. But I wasn't exactly sure what they do. So I was going to look it up now. Yeah, I'm actually also not sure what they do. I don't know, is it open SSL? I think that's just for like... Oh, I think we need to use Telnet. That will make kind of sense. Because Telnet is used to set communication between the host of something and what we are. So if we can send the password over via Telnet, then that could be very useful. Oh, I see. Wait, how do you know all of this, by the way? <laughs> uh, this is just some fragments of memories that stayed with me after I oh. did it the last time. <laughs> Bro, just give me an answer, don't give me a whole thing. I swear, this is why I don't like, um, like researching something or learning about something through a blog article, especially if it's directly from the source, because they always make things sound more complicated than I think it should be. I mean, YouTubers usually break things down to the simplest form that you can understand. But here they're talking about Telnet is an application protocol used on internet or local area network. To provide <laughs> high directional interactive text oriented communication facility <laughs> using a virtual <laughs> terminal connection. <laughs> yes, I understood everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how are you supposed to understand what this means? Yeah. It's, yeah, it doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> Work. So, Telnet. And then the host, bandit15, the port, and what next? And then we have to attempt to log in. Could not resolve address associated with host name. Because I, I kind of think I have the idea. The only problem problem is I don't know how to send a password over it. Over it. Uh, uh.
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I, I found it. If I'm lucky. Uh, oh gosh, now I gotta get password again. Nope, never heard. Never mind. Well, it said connected to localhost, but it, it doesn't do anything. Connected to localhost. Yeah, it's like trying to connect to localhost, connected to localhost, and then it just says connection closed by foreign host. Oh jeez, my machine is getting really slow with this one. Holy crap. <laughs> Mine's not that bad right now. Every answer I go to tells us to use SSH pass. It's dead. Stop. Like, we can't use that. This is truly a difficult one, holy crap. Yes. We're almost at level 16, though. <laughs> I think we should maybe be using netcat. But I don't know. At this point my brain is dying. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, earlier today I was like I was learning Node.js. I was like going through most of the course that I was busy with. If did. So my my brain juices <laughs> it's running out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I 
Okay, I don't think so. No, never mind. Oh, almost thought that found something. Oh. <laughs> I just can't remember what or how. Wait, wait. Now we're using the same user. The username is Bandit, right? Yes, Bandit15. Is, is that the name. username that we're using? And then we're using Bandit14. We're trying to get into Bandit15. Oh. You can get your username so, by typing in who am I. Oh. So if, do you think that if we submit the password to the port you think that we'll have to enter username yes see currently um what i have if i can just quickly find out where my last result was uh, is this right here then now what's happening is is i basically try to ssh and then i threw in my username at localhost and i tried to pass in the password and in the port so it should be something similar to that Okay, I see. Hmm. I also oh, tried I'm gonna try this one. This one right here. Our username, which is the fourteen, and password is the password now. You sent me the password on Discord, right? Uh, yes. So the current password we should use to enter Bandit 15 should be the one oh, I, see. I sent. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even see the stuff that you sent. Uh, should go in. Goodness. I wonder if we got the wrong password. Oh, I got it. I got it. You got it. Maybe. No, this is the same password that I ended. <laughs> Crap. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Oh, I was so excited now. This is so disappointing. <laughs> Dude. I swear, Medium has literally a walkthrough of every single one of these. <laughs> Dude, you will not believe what the answer is. Never mind, it didn't what? work. <laughs> oh, okay. to me.
I found it. Did you? I did. Just give me a second and I'll share. There we go. Basically, we had to echo the password into uh, what's NC again? Um, man, NC. I think that's like, yeah, Netcat. So we had to uh, send it into Netcat at localhost 30,000. Yeah. I don't know how that works, but we passed. <laughs> that, <laughs> that just kills us. I <laughs> think we should call it a day. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> honestly, yeah. Dude, we we uh, can save that password, and then if we ever want to continue, then we have it. Yeah, I'll just send. Oh, did you send it? Okay, so it is here. Uh, <sighs> yeah, no. Log out. Ah, finally, my brain. <laughs> yeah. That was actually nice. It was enjoyable. At least the first part. <laughs> yeah. Yo, the, the last few parts. And I saw there were like 34 of them. So there were like 20 left. And after this, there are more levels. Oh my goodness. We are literally at oh. level 1 and in part <laughs> 14. Oh, like, like, oh my goodness. I thought that was like the end of it. No, <laughs> I think there's like four or five levels. Okay, yeah, I know. We can actually count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve more. Oh. Yeah, I know. Like, I can just imagine the last ones. <laughs> <laughs> Those are for like people like Network Chuck. <laughs> yeah. The professionals. The ones that actually know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. But it's actually like um good practice, I think, this like just looking for the all like it's good practice for Googling, I guess. Yeah, because Googling is an actual good skill to have. Yeah. Yeah, and it is for most things actually. Not just programming, I've realized. Exactly. Ah. <sighs> uh. Yeah, that was that was a good one, sir. So. <laughs> I'm glad I could enlighten you with my brain destroyer. Yeah, honestly, I I realize that I need to step up my game when it comes to like this Linux stuff, learning more commands and stuff, and whatever those stuff are, <laughs> because yeah. I felt clueless today. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, it took me about three years to actually be where I am now with Linux. Okay, I, that gives me hope. Yeah, and I, I didn't quite really rush it or anything. I just kind of build it up over yeah. time. Yeah, I get what you mean. Uh, oh, I wanted to say something as well. Uh, uh, I just passed through my head now. <laughs> it, it's hard, geez. <laughs> it made us too <laughs> hard. We can't even think. <laughs> I swear, I thought of this like a second ago. I wanted to say it. Um. Oh my goodness. I honestly can't remember what it is now. <laughs> oh, but, okay. You know, I'll think of it later. But yeah, are you still streaming, by the way? Yeah, I think I'm going to end it somewhere about now. You know, okay. How maybe, long has it been now? Uh, almost four hours. Four? Almost, dude. Like, jeez. I think it's like ten minutes and then we're at four hours. Wow. Oh, okay. It is nine o'clock. We start around five. My goodness. Jeepers. I thought it was like two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't feel that long. Yeah, it really didn't. Ah. <sighs> Oh my goodness, I swear I wanted to say something now and I forgot again. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> so I need to go relax. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch Black Clover now. <laughs> yeah, good. Like a few episodes and I'm just gonna pass out. <laughs> Enjoy your Black Clover. You can plug your, your channel if you want. You know, you are the guest. Oh yeah. 
Oh, I wanted to say that like it would be dope if like even just a few people actually watch this. Like imagine the watch time you would get from it. But that's actually how I uh, got monetized because you need like a certain amount of watch time and I decided yeah. to stream and just stream like for like hours on end. And it actually mm. worked, and that's how I got to that oh. watch time you need. But okay, yeah, but that does kind of like even out because streams don't usually get that much views. But I'm guessing if people watch long enough, yeah. See, because my, like... because my streams at least get the stream length because I have one device that constantly displays the stream to me, so I know what's going on. So that's at least oh. one view that's going for like three or four hours. And then everyone else that tunes in bumps that up a bit. And then everyone else that comes back later also bumps it up. Oh, I see. Hmm. I think I should start implementing some long form content as well, eventually. <laughs> Lo-fi hip-hop music oh. streaming 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> like those um, that study with me beats and stuff. <laughs> like those sessions... And then just like play twenty four seven. Uh, but yeah, I'll just put my YouTube channel name there, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah no, definitely. I actually don't feel that tired, but I just feel kind of brain dead. I remember at some point I was like, just I was reading this this piece of text. Uh, the <laughs> was actually like the qu the the problem that we had to read. And I was just reading it the whole time, but I wasn't actually paying attention. <laughs> I was just like going over it the whole time, but I didn't know what I was reading. <laughs> you Kinda didn't have any more processing power left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks. This was, was fun. Yeah, thank you for joining in. It is much more fun to have someone extra to come along on the 